We're looking at the new calculated field feature within Act 16. For years it's been necessary to introduce add-on components to calculate field values, but now this is embedded within the basic structure of the system, enabling us to calculate field values by looking at the contents of other custom or standard fields within the database. Now this works across all entities, so in contacts, companies, groups and opportunities, and looks at either numeric or date fields. Of course numeric fields would also include currency fields, percent fields, etc. Now the scope for this is, is quite considerable, but um, using calculated fields in association with both dynamic groups and also particularly smart tasks makes the system now a very powerful workflow oriented piece of software. So we can use calculated fields to recognize certain characteristics within the database and then from that trigger smart tasks to announce uh, opportunities to employees by way of scheduled activities or internal emails or even communicate directly with customers through the ACT uh, email marketing system. Let's just look at a simple example here of using calculated fields within the opportunity entity. So here's a basic opportunity in ACT and you can see I've enabled the standard gross margin field which shows us that there's gross margin on this particular opportunity of £14,350. I could use a calculated field then to calculate a salesperson's commission based upon that gross margin figure. So let's add a new field called commission then. So under the tools menu define fields we're just going to create a new field called commission. Now, typically you'd set that as a currency field, but in this case, we're going to select calculated field from the list. So it's a, the only new field data type that appears there, calculated field. And then if I click next, I can either select a numeric or date oriented field. If I select date, it would show me a drop down list of all the date fields that currently exist within the opportunity entity that I could use as a basis for calculating data. In this particular example, I'm going to select numeric and you can see it's a slightly different interface because I can build a formula here. But under fields in the bottom left hand corner, it shows me the three numeric fields that currently exist within the main opportunity entity that I can use as part of the formula. Now, because I'm calculating commission and it's going to be based on the gross margin, I just need to double click gross margin to include that as a component within the formula. And let's say we're going to pay the salesperson 5% commission on gross margin. It's a very simple formula in this case. It's gross margin multiplied by, and of course I can do some difference product quotient or uh, plus minus multiply uh, divide. So gross margin multiplied by 0 0.05 will give me a commission rate. If I want to just test that formula to make sure it works effectively, I can click validate formula and you can see the system finds no problem with that. So if I click finish, it's created the new field called commission. As I close the define field uh, editor, as before, of course, the system recognizes that a new field exists, but I need to determine where that field will appear on my layout. Let's just drop it on the layout under gross margin. So it's just going to open the layout editor for me now. now I'm going to bring in that field, I'll pop it down here and bring in commission. Let's not get too worried about the formatting of the layout at this stage. We'll just drop the field in. Immediately you can see that the commission is calculated £717.50. Uh, another example of a calculated field, let's in this case use a date related field. Perhaps we could look at uh, opportunities that have gone beyond their estimated close date. So this particular opportunity, we told the system when we added it that we expected it to close on the 31st of August. But if that date has passed, maybe we'd want to include some kind of warning in the system or trigger a communication to a sales manager to alert us to the fact that an opportunity has gone beyond its estimated close date and we may need to take some action as a result of that. So again, under the tools menu, define fields. I'm going to create a new field called um, estimated close date. And again, let's set that as a calculated field. So this time we're going to use date. And the date that we're going to relate to is the estimated close date. 
and we're going to put in there days since. So we want the field to show how many days it has been since the estimated close date. Same as before, as we close the defined field uh, editor, it invites us to modify the layout. So let's just drop in that new field down here. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about the formatting, just quickly drop it in. Estimated close date passed. Let's just shove the label over there for a moment and um, close the layout and save it as we do so. And you can see now this particular opportunity is 10 days past its due date. What could I do with that? Well, I could monitor that field with a dynamic group or with a smart task. So, for example, uh, I created a group earlier on. I began to create this one called Opportunity Close Date Overview. Uh, overdue. So I could set up a membership for a group to say include in this group any opportunities where the status is open. So we're, we're currently tracking that as a live open opportunity, but the estimated uh, close date past value is greater than uh, 10 days. So let's add that to the list. So having set that criteria, I've then automatically got a list of the contacts within the system for whom we have opportunities where the estimated close date is more than 10 days overdue. So I can, I can monitor this manually, or of course I can use smart tasks to um, send a notification internally by email or schedule an activity as mentioned previously, or send an email to the, uh, to the client. So that's the new calculated fields feature in Act 16. Thank you.